Hey guys, this is SMD Face doing a new video. The last one was pretty crappy, the Fletching Guide. That was my first video I made, so kind of give me a break. Um, I, I promise you that they will get better. So today I'm going to be doing a helpful advice guide on room span. First advice is you want to go on to a good world. That is usually world 39. World 39 is where you're going to have most of your people. And with more people, every time you're clicking something like a shifter or a jumper, they're going to last longer. The shifter. Like a lot of people right here are doing the shifter. Actually, they're doing the nebula, I think. Or maybe, I don't know. Um, it's hard to tell. But anyway, the more people you have on something, the longer it's going to last. And so, you really want to be on this world in this spot that I am because the things are going to last longer and give you more XP. Um, I am not 99, I will tell you that right now. But, uh, this, I'm pretty much hitting the spot where no matter what you're doing what I'm doing so alright here let's go to the start I don't know where the heck I just went but okay oh, there I am alright um... go down to level one one to thirty two I think at level 32, you can get to the second level, which is what I have to climb down now. Ooh! First hint of advice, if there is a yellow wizard near you, you do want to talk to him and give him some stuff, and you'll get XP. But you see that he's annoying me. He's, he's not interested. So, let's just... Keep it moving. Alright, um... Heading on down. This is pretty dang slow to get on down. Alright, well, anyway, I'm just gonna keep talking while I'm heading down. But really, the first level, all you wanna do is... Um... You wanna start with whatever's there. You really wanna start doing a cyclone, which is an air but it's a tornado, kind of like this, but it's air. And, um, pretty much you want to do that in a mind storm. And, um, you're going to keep doing that on level 1. That's pretty much the best XP you're going to be getting. Once you're level 32, which it should only take you about an hour, um... You're going to move on to the second level, which is where I am, which you can find some of the things I had up, up on the top level, which is um, shifters, you got your fire tornadoes, water pools. Um, you want to go to level 32 to 66 on here. Really what you want to do is stick on the outside. I will show you two good places that you want to be. Right here, a lot of shifters will spawn. I like to sit up um, up around here. I'd go back and forth between here and here. And, you know, that would, that would, they would always have, like, shifters or nebulas, and when there wasn't any, I would do a nature S-hound for pretty good XP, and I gained a lot of essence. The more essence you have, the easier leveling could probably be. So, if I were you, I'd find a nature ass hound and start doing this guy because he's probably one of the best. I did him in the beginning when I first got to the second level because I needed um, to get to level 50 to jump across. And... Uh, he was giving me the best XP I could find. And, of course, I got Rune Essence. Whenever he dies, he gives you more than you had, which is good. 
I only have 6,000 right now because I left to go make a fletching guide for you guys. Not the best. Um, but, yeah. And I, I did have 30,000 more than I've ever seen. But, alright guys, once you're 32 to 66, you're going to want to come down here to the ender and climb up here. And this is your top level. Your top level is where you're going to get the best XP. Once you're 66, you can probably jump across here. And then jump across that one to get right into there. That's where you're going to get most of your good XP. There's a lot of nebulas that spawn over here and shifters. If you get lucky, you'll have uh, skulls. We give you 120 XP. But really, if you're 66, you're going to run a stay in here till around 77. Once you're 77, you're hitting a good time. Oh, there's a fucking ice cream man coming around. What the heck? Alright, anyway, um, once you're 77, you're going to want to jump across, because this side here always is getting a shifter or a nebula. Personally, I like the shifters better than nebulas, because you get a lot more XP. But it's all up to you and what your thought process is. When you're standing over there and there's nothing around, you're going to be tacking a death. Um... What's it called? They always have weird names, so, uh, just come into here. It's a death. Uh, right here, death eswaths, or whatever, rafts. The death rafts, and, um, when they die, you want to quickly click one of the S hounds over there. And that will start giving you 23 XP each, and the, the death... Wraths should be back very quickly, but it's good to just keep clicking back and forth so you're constantly always getting the maximum amount of XP you can get. And the more XP you get, the easier it is to level up. But once you're level probably, you know, 80 ish, you could probably jump over to. An island down there, which has something called the Soul Ethras or whatever, and um, that's gonna give you like 108 XP each, and it's just like the Death one over there, and there's also a uh, one over here, which is down there, so I can't really see it. There's another shifter. You see, there's always a bunch. <laughs> But like I was saying earlier, you always want to attack the one that has the most amount of people because it's going to stay longer. Um, well, that's pretty much it for you guys. Um, once you really, a helpful hint, something, you go on Google and type tip it cal calculator. It'll come up and probably be the first one for skill guy. Go into room crafting, you put in your... Um, XP, your total XP amount, and uh, then actually what level you want to be, and I usually put it 99, that'll tell you what you can and can't do, how much XP you'll get, how much uh, times you'll need to do it, like how much XP you'll need to get from it to get to the next level. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, I hope that helped you a little bit. Um, I certainly had a little bit of trouble from some of the older ones. They didn't have much information that helped and stuff, but really, guys, you want to keep running around in one area like I showed you to find shifters and nebulas. There's a nebula right there. And a chaotic cloud is just a black cloud with sort of like fire in the middle. Those, will, those are the three you really want to try and get. And over here, you're hoping for skulls. They're 120 XP each. So, um, yeah, guys, that's a little bit of helpful information. Uh, good luck.